We're gonna do a special video because we gained three subscribers in the last couple days and that's exciting. Thank you. You guessed it. We're still working on the form. Remember to like and share the video, please. that I've only fallen through these joists a couple times? We're now trying to remove all the nails from the tops of the joists, the summer beam and the main beam. It's proving to be quite difficult. Luca said it's easy. I have to use a little tiny hammer because I can't use anything else. <laughs> I can't get it to work. So we got this piece of plywood which is not very thick. Not very strong. See, on top of removing all the nails from the top of the joists, I really like to remove the nails that are on the left and the right of the joists. And it's funny just how many nails there were. I mean, it's 200, 200 years of people needing to hang something in the basement so they put a nail. Almost done. Got a few more left. One problem, major, the major problem with this floor really, is how this fireplace used to obviously come up through it. And eventually, obviously, for whatever reason, they took it out. They never built in floor joists going across here. So there's like nothing in here at all. And so you can see this big beam and from where I am, it's at least two feet to the front of this fireplace. And then there's nothing here either. I mean, there's a lot of stone and whatnot. And what I want to do is I want to break up this stone fireplace so I can actually frame in, you know, 16 inch on center, kind of like floor joist system. That way when I go to put the floor back down, there's going to be some good nailers here. I have no idea. I thought I was recording and I'm, I was not, so. I, ha I have no idea how much footage. If it's not terribly obvious by now, um, we don't really know what we're doing. We're, we're trying to figure it out. I have a real issue with how I did this. Just I just don't know and that's the problem. But. This floor being level 
I want it to be as good as I as good as I can get it. So I'm gonna take some two two big two by tens. They're two by ten by sixteens. I'm gonna put them together and screw them together and make one big long straight edge. And I kind of want to see what it looks like when I put it across the floor and just kind of shimmy it across. And you could just for me it's a visual. So that's what I'm gonna do. Kind of a waste of time in a way, but again. I need the visual, I think, in order to make sense out of what I'm, what I'm seeing. So, I gotta go down there and get this. I was just thinking at the end of this flooring project, I should do a video on the total cost of all the new wood, joist hangers, screws, try to break it right down. I'll see if I can't get that information. All the way across, they're sitting on, pretty much right up on the wall. And then they come together, perfect. Without falling, let's see. It's uh, not perfectly level. Now this, this board isn't necessarily perfect, but if you can see what I can see, this board, I don't really know where it's hitting. This board is hitting here and at this other beam. This is me trying to fix of where I'm gonna frame in the new joists. I really didn't like the way that beam turned out. I needed to get it closer to the wall. And by the time I was done with it, I felt pretty confident that it was done as best as it could be. So many nails on these joist hangers, it's crazy. Hope I'm doing it right. Watching. I hope you're enjoying the videos. You must be enjoying them a little bit because you went all the way to the end. Please remember to like the video. Um, it just really helps knowing that people enjoy it. And if you don't, then comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what you'd rather see. I'm a little limited because we're just using an iPad, but let me know. Thanks for watching.